Some of this might be violent or cruel. If you got a heart problem, don't do it. It's totally fictitious. Nothing has to do with real historic events. D pure coincidence. Definitely not a franchise, a, a developer with a history of commenting on the, on their uh, their politics and history of their home or anything like that. There's no baggage here. Hey guys, we're playing Devotion finally. Uh, I've been having to hype myself up to get going because I've been procrastinating because it's a horror game and all that. But it's finally fucking available. Go buy Devotion. Just like go get it. It's just good that it exists. Link in the description. You have to buy it from their website. They're just selling their own game on their own website. That's what that, that's what it's come to at this point. I don't know how well that's going. Probably not great that they're not on Steam or GOG. Fucking assholes. <laughs> uh, so there's some context here. So if you, first of all, go back into my previous stuff, you'll find a game called Detention. Uh, it is a, the Taiwanese game from this very developer, Red, Red Candle Games. And it was a pretty cool game. Big, a lot of people liked it. That liked stuff along the along the lines of some of the Silent Hill stuff and so on. Like this deeply atmospheric, creepy horror game that is also you know about other things and has and is dripping with subtext and so on. I guess it's fitting that they now have a history of trouble with censorship because that game was about basically that very idea. Like it was about the availability and censorship of texts and how the government was was went uh, clamped down on those kinds of things and essentially like a even their own little version of mccarthyism with with people being uh antagon not antagonized not prosecuted well i mean kind of prosecuted but uh people being uh attacked for their beliefs or even for engaging with ideas in the first place and engaging with forbidden texts and so on because that was about it like a forbidden f a book club uh, this game came out, I don't even know, like a year or two ago? For like a moment? And then it was gone forever, seemingly. Uh, and it was because there was an image of Winnie the Pooh somewhere in the game, which the pre the uh, the Prime Minister, President, whatever, of China, very much does not like being compared to. And so, that little pit bit of commentary led to the game being taken down, and it has just been gone from Steam and any real available platforms ever since and it seemed like it was just going to never be available ever again and I thought the studio was going to get shut down and that this was we were just never going to see more from this developer and it's going to become this just forbidden game that we'd have to track down and so on and at that point like I had I had a point where I'm just like I'm going to I think I'm going to pirate this game out of spite and cover it out of spite because it's just so fucking irritating that that was it was unavailable for those reasons and that that was what was happening and so on funnily enough you don't i don't think i heard about this very much from the censorship people they i guess i i think they usually only care when it's when for them like censorship equals less anime titty and not like when an actual government clamps down on a project and completely censors its messaging and its release and the studio is at risk and so on, but no, like, slightly different pixel art, my god, thousand page forum thread. <laughs> but, uh, rather frustratingly, uh, it was announced this game was gonna come out on GOG, and then the GOG guys, like, immediately, like, the same day, removed that, they, they removed that, they canceled that announcement, and they were like, due to feedback from gamers, we have decided not to have devotion in our store, and it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, there were throngs of gamers coming at you for releasing a game on your platform. A game that gamers are angry at, definitely. Definitely not the Chinese government that you're trying to probably expand your storefront into and you realized that you're going to get in trouble for this. So yeah, this has been deeply frustrating and that it renewed my interest and I was like, I gotta get around to playing this game. But uh, turns out... I can just buy it now, and you can buy it, and this whole fucking spiel was about why you probably should, because it just really sucks what happened to these guys, and uh, it's probably a good game, I've heard good things about it, uh, the last game was great, and you go check it out and experience it for yourself and so on, and give them some money because, boy, they've been having a rough couple of years, haven't they? <laughs> uh, alright. Subtitles are on or something. That's basically all I'm looking for. Let's actually start this game. I don't see subtitles. 
They're probably on by default because I oh, yeah, display language. Engl yeah, I don't think any. There's probably voice acting that's not in English to begin with, so it's probably on by default. They made, they made the jump and do 3D this time. Last game being a kind of hinge motion 2D sort of thing. Look at that fish. This is a somewhat concerning sound. Sure am. TV is not looking great so far, honestly. I guess it's just the weather. <laughs> Am I doing okay? Getting kind of vibrating. Um, Where's Mei Shin? Did you do something? Are we another guilty conscious protagonist? AKA every protagonist in horror, I guess. It's drawn by Mei Shin. Oh, they're young. Li Fang's photo. Li Feng's solo photo, her Ki Pao dress, helped establish her iconic image. Things aren't going well for us, are they? Oop. Oh, this is gloomy. The red arowana, a pet fish considered to bring luck and prosperity. We had a much smaller arowana in our house, in a much larger tank, and I think that was considered to be too small of a tank for an arowana. <laughs> Seems to be like a rough time. Do I have a flashlight? There's like a radio over there, I can see the light just barely. I don't think it's going to bring me a lot of luck. Oh, it's very dark in here. Just blue shapes. And the sound of rain. Well, I successfully made it darker. Oh. We're doing that today. Okay, fine. Waste our power. See if I care.
What an intensely, like, lived in space. Hi. You've got a giraffe too! Wow, what a coincidence. Nope, this is the same house. This is the same... Right. Yeah, this is my- yeah, this is, this, this is my apartment. Or house or whatever. I knew something was different. It threw me off, but when I looked in this direction... The door was open and it was exposed, because this thing was gone. The shield. The vanity- the privacy divider. God of theater and arch, General Tendu. I chart that came with the powdered milk we bought records Mation's growth. Came with our powdered milk. Oh, these are real photos too. We can look around now. That's got to be Mation and Li Feng. Nineteen eighty-seven. Knowing the last game, the exact year of when this is set, is really important what it's going to do. Family portrait. Wow, I'm looking great in this one. A plus. Beautiful. Happy family. It's Wednesday, my dudes. The shrimp? Yeah, a lot of shrimp. Arowana doesn't care at all about borderline horrors that are happening around it. The desk I work at day after day. So I work at home, it looks like. Here all the time. What? Now look at that picture? Okay, I thought, I thought she had blood coming out of both of her wrists. Maybe she's holding two bags? It's hard to tell. That was not a good first impression of that image. Still plenty dark in here. The other apartment's fire escape can be seen from the window. I'll trust you. I'm not sure I can tell. Her room's locked. That was just open, right? What was that? Oh. Hi. Wet outside, huh? Oh, that's just an umbrella. There's no person. Cool. That's what I was hoping would happen. And now it's raining on me indoors. This is what I wanted for my birthday. This exact experience. Thank you. So considerate. Huh? Alright. Oh! Hello, ma'am. <laughs> the shoe's gone. Okay. Wow, that was fucking... That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. Is this just a dead end now? Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> that got me. <laughs> the fact that she was just standing there, I'm like, uh, do, do, do I start running? Is this the chase? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go. Okay. Okay. I see what we're doing here. All right. 1980 house key. That's always year of the monkey. 1980. Why is the year the house number? <laughs> My time traveling. Hmm. 
After you, oh, you manually use your inventory items. I, um... Are we doing a little bit of a PT? I think we're doing a little bit of a PT. So I'm looping into the same apartment again. Yeah. But it's changing time. This is seven years ago. That's why the home address is the year. Oh yeah, lo-fi rock, let's go. That's my jam. Oh, that was a short song. Oh, this is called I Hate You, Please Die. Oh shit, it's my favorite. Once again, a video game family that puts their books on the shelf backwards. Who does this? I have never... Video games are the only world where I see books that are just backwards. And it's like... What's wrong with you? Maybe you deserve everything that happens in this game now. You put books on shelves backwards. Like, what? Who is that? Who would do that? Are those naughty books? Have you been naughty? I guess given the last game's context, actually, uh... <laughs> you might want to put some books on backwards. If it's if they're doing anything similar. Photo of Lee Fang in her glory days. Signatures of the film crew adorn the picture. So I married a film actress. If I hang these these idol portraits up, I think she'll be pretty happy about it. Oh, we're moving in. Isn't that nice? Bao Dao Artistry Prize, Best Screenplay Award, another trophy to add to my proud collection. Oh, am I, am I did I write the movies? We met. We met at work. That's why I. That's why I work at home at a desk. Bowls found in a packing box. The bottoms are labeled to do. Li Feng and I had had them custom made. I'm just gonna give up on pronunciation immediately. By the way, I just. I just know. I thought I had an, any idea, but then I pronounced names from Dynasty Warriors in front of somebody who spoke Chinese, and they laughed at me. So. I, I'm just accepting of the idea that I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. But if we obsess over every pronunciation, then we're never going to get everywhere. Anywhere. An empty dish rack. Can't open the windows. So this is a door that leads outside. Or laundry room? It might be a porch. Yeah. With a gate. Yeah, it looks like there's a cage. It could be a window, or it could be a caged porch. Balcony, that's the word. That's the better, more correct word. I don't have a reflection, which is always a good sign. So I'm going to be doing great. Oh! We good? So I did one thing and we moved in a lot more over the course of that. So all my trophies are in the cabinet. A lot of screenwriting trophies. You're pretty good, apparently. But where do I hang the photo? A craft paper envelope delivered to yours truly. Screenwriter. Du Feng Yu. So the, uh, each bowl has one of our names on it. So the other one must have had hers. Episode 1. Scene 1. Living hall. Daytime interior. Close up. The husband carries a potted plant over to the window and places it on the sill. Husband. Smiling. People say that tulips symbolize elegance and sweetness, just like our child. Wife. Like you know, our child hasn't even been born yet. All right, let's finish organizing and get dinner ready. The flower isn't blooming anytime soon, so let's eat. Soup's getting cold. Close up. The couple arrange their new home together. They hang their paintings on the empty wall, set his medals on the cabinet, 
and place their china on the shelves. With a human touch, the empty abode begins to feel more like home. After adjusting some furniture, the husband returns to the living hall and finds his wife waiting for him with a gift. Oh, I don't want that. That's what it actually says, if you can read it. I imagine they might not call it China. <laughs> the plates. Just on a, just a bit of a, of a random guess. Lulu. Creamy apple flavored. Ooh. I want to try this snack. Mei Shin often eats this snack. So I could guess at what I was supposed to do already, but it looks like I'm going to follow my own stage directions. It's written as a fiction. Do I just point myself at anywhere on the wall, I guess? On the is this the empty wall? I'm not totally sure where to hang the portraits, like the where the interaction spot is. I'm not looking forward to the, my wife arriving with a gift. Just don't feel like that's going to go amazingly for me. I can go in. You can, I can go in Mei Shen's room now. Oh, it's really dark in here. Let's just walk right in, and nothing goes bad, right? I'll be fine. Still can't go to the bathroom. This really is hell. Ah. Yeah, this was a hallway last time, wasn't it? So do not trust my surroundings. It's going to do whatever it wants to do. We things posters and record titles from her heyday. After our marriage, she stopped getting her portraits done. Oh. He was prolific. Oh. It's a bedroom. I'm always gone. I'm sure that's a good sign. Oh, it's two geese together. Or swans. I saw it as legs at first glance sticking up, and I'm like, what the f It's really surreal. What is that? Hmm. Star Kiki. Oh, hey, we get a bit of room at that area. So it looks like laundry is hanging up. It's like a laundry room with a, a big wall-sized window. Someone here. Brand. Mm. No, it's okay. I don't need a present. I'll just stay here with the dish detergent. Yeah. Floral cleaning detergent. Why? Does the dish detergent have somebody's head on it with hair? I feel like you're just trying to help me accidentally put it in my hair like a sh <laughs> like a shampoo, which would be a disaster. Okay, no one's here yet. I'm taking that as a good sign. Oh! Cool! Donkashern. No, oh, I kept wanting to open that. Honestly put me in a bit of a Resident Evil space where I'm like, ah, if I open that up, it will have useful supplies in it. Uh Looks like it has a figure. A decorative doll made of icing. 
Made of icing? It's edible? It's got that really un uncanny, realistic light uh, colored everything. The lighting's unnerving. Oh, how romantic. Are we gonna hug? Oop. Where's the TV? We need that. T -t to have TV happen. Oh. Oh, cool. Love's embrace. What did you do? I know you did something. Dear Feng Yu, this is the lighter you've always wanted. You must be exhausted from all the unpacking. Get some rest. I want you to know I'll support you always. Happy Father's Day, your loving wife. Soon to be father, I suppose. Nope, that's a baby. The baby's born now. So it's a bit later in 1980 then. Why isn't the bird calming? It's just a bird. My stapler. <laughs> Not even bird noises are calming in this game, huh? Hello? Wow, you rushed through that door, didn't you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here I am. I think I was going to commit a little less to that movement, honestly. Given the situation. Well, he seems pretty pleased about it. Oh, he's wearing glasses. That's not apparent at first. What do you think that says? Someone knows. Nineteen eighty six. So here's our trend established. Skipping forward six years. Oh. I was about to say people are here, but that might be an exaggeration. Oh. Well. Now we're dealing with this. 